Greetings, mate, and welcome back to Cosmic Deer with me, Judy. Today, today, I want to go say hi to that pirate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whilst we wait to wander over to a pirate, providing we can actually catch him, because uh, the pirates are, tend to be fairly fast, I've, I've just taken the liberty between episodes just to wander around the map a little bit, have a bit of a look, see, see what we can find. There is a base down here that... I can't shoot and doesn't shoot me, which is nice, um, but it doesn't have tri-steel, which was the main thing I was looking for. I was going for a bit of a wonder, trying to get back to the Indio station to grab some tri-steel. Are we going to catch you? We're closing the distance. We are closing the distance. Uh, so today's episode. Today's episode, what I want to do is I want to get enough crew. That's the that's the main goal. I want to get enough crew to make a mining ship, and I want to start mining resources. Also, if we can start mining resources... I want to swap away from the lasers because although I like the Zap Zap, the Zap Zap is a great little a great little ship. It does wonders. Um, I would prefer it if we could get up to cannons. Cannons would be nice. Uh, catching this pirate would also be nice. Uh, maybe not. Uh, okay, so we're going to thrust in that direction and I am going to face this direction uh no we're going to manual control i'm going to face in that direction and then i'm going to strafe in that direction okay uh let's flip the ship uh that failed uh okay manual control flip thank you and strafe because three at once is a bit much. Okay. Uh, all right. So we have one of you. You are fairly easy. We're just going to go straight for the cockpit. Uh, yep. Confidence is high. Confidence is high. Uh, you are even easier, except your disruptor is going to hurt. So we're going to definitely go for you first, because you have the most likelihood of actually doing damage. If I can hit you. There we go. Uh, oh, what's that? An Argonaut! Uh, that's the pirate hunter that I was chasing. Okay, uh, we're going to go for the Haywire because it is lightly armoured and I'm going to go straight for this Thrupta, which is currently pumbling out my shields and there's cannon fire coming in that direction. Alright, so uh, one thing I didn't mention about the point defence previously is it also takes pot shots at... Uh, well, incoming cannon shells. So there is a chance I can break the cannon shells up before they get to me. Uh, all right, so let's try and get rid of that disruptor. Great. Uh, let's have team number one take out that. Meanwhile, the horrible target, the one that's going to likely to do the most damage to me, is actually you. So I want to face you while shooting you. Yep, we're going to do multi-purpose attacks here. So we're going to rotate to face you uh, whilst team number one is shooting you and we're maintaining target distance with this one, which means we're also moving backward. It, it, it's a lot going on here. All right. Uh, okay, one can't hit them anymore. So one is going to go for your main cannon and we're just going to deal with your, well, point defense hitting us in the ass. It's not that bad compared to a cannon. Okay. Uh, lasers away, lasers away. Oh my god. Uh, mistakes were made. Okay, uh, because we're still maintaining distance with this guy. All right, uh, let's spin it. Uh, the ship spins faster than the guns do. Okay, let's hit that, 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 and then take out that. Pops half the shells. Stop moving. Okay, fine. Uh, can I take that out? Well, actually, that 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 would be that would work for me. All right, so we got rid of a roaming pirate. Excellent. Uh, so you are our only target left, uh, which means we're gonna hit you and we're gonna take out your copy. Boom. All right. Good. Solved. Okay, that was fun. All right, sort of came out of nowhere. And uh, let's go with a scoop. Let's park about here. And let's go with a general tidy up of space and damage wise. 
a little bit more expensive than I would like. Uh, we took some damage on the side, some damage on the side, mostly light damage. If I had some armor here, these wouldn't have taken any damage, but you know, it's one steel, one steel. It's all one steel cost. Uh, the only things that took major damage were a bit of coils at the blaster end and the PLDs along with the thrusters. Oh, and the rear thruster, thrusters took a hit or two. It's fine. It's fine. It's not too bad. Uh, we'll click that button and repair up. All right. Whilst the crew are off uh, collecting everything, as always, I need to have another one. Well, I did pick an interesting seed intentionally. Uh, there's, there's a sun there. You can't get too close. You'll get burnt, literally. Okay. Well, everybody's aboard. Oh, come on. Close the distance. I don't even know what this is. It's it's not a pirate hunter. We've killed all those. Uh, you're just going to take me for a, a run across the whole galaxy? Oh, fun. More friends. Don't run me into your other friends. Uh, 0.23. We're not really catching this guy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's different. Uh, so two disruptors, which are going to ruin our shields, and uh, four cannons across the front. It's a bouncer. So we're going to hit the bouncer where it hurts. Uh, we're just going to take out the guns. I think that's the best idea. Hopefully that little contact stays far away. And hopefully this works out well for us. It would work out better if we actually hit our target. All right, I am going to come in close because uh my, my my lovely crew went to star wars academy uh of star stormtrooper this to get all uh firing lessons we can't hit the broad side of a barn so i'm gonna get nice and close if i'm close uh i can hopefully hit everything and can we just take out the reactor please okay that also solved that problem more more rubbish okay can we send the crew out Repairs wise, even more expensive. Yeah, it, it's definitely time uh, we probably got some more speed in behind us, hence why I was looking at the tri steel. Also, possibly looked at a, a different design, but a different design, I want a second ship. I want a second ship for a number of reasons. One, I want a factory ship. Uh, two, I want to start mass making ammo. I, I really want to go across to cannon shells, but that doesn't require a second ship, but it definitely worked better if we had a second ship to do so. Uh, please nobody die. Uh, can I remove that? And did we get everything? No, not even close. Not even close. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to leave all those troubles behind. We're going to go straight here and hand in some quests. Uh, well, there's an unknown signal. We might stop at the unknown signal first. Okay, it's an asteroid field. Good to know. There's another one. And another, another one. All right, fine. We'll find out what this red dot is, I guess. You know, it popped up. It was red. It was asking to say hi. It is an asteroid field, and we still have another unknown signal. All right, this is a friend. Yeah, definitely a friend. It's another bouncer. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, actually, you're sliding to... to you're sliding to the right-hand side of the screen. So I'm actually going to shoot for the right one first, then the one after that, hoping that if we aim here, we hit here. In fact, we're going to play our odds and we're going to go that way. Yeah. Uh, because, again, you know, Star Wars Academy of Star trooper No. Okay. So we're going to go that way, that way, that way, that way. Uh, of targeting. And we are going to close the range nice and tight so I can get, well, better targeting. We must disrupt the cannons are ruining our shields. And he is at full reverse thrust. And yeah, we can see our shields are going down the front center. And when the shields are down, the guns are also going down, which is less than ideal. Okay, can I get rid of, well, that and then that? The disruptors by themselves don't really do any damage. Uh, can we mark that problem as well? Okay, uh, question mark. Yeah, uh, and we'll do a quick spot repair using some of the crap it left in space. Well, if you say so. Oh, that's a graveyard. That's a ship graveyard. Oh, well, I know where we're going. Uh, after we get a second ship, we're going to need a second ship for this one. Uh, definitely. We're going to hit that asteroid, aren't we? Yeah, smack. 
Okay, you are exact same. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and close. Like super close. All right, let's see if we do any better this time around. Yeah, there's these disruptors, they are too far buried in the ship for me to hit. So my best bet is to go straight through the middle. And that's one down. That's this cargo down. That's that one down. That's that down. But because my shields are down, and we are super, super close. Uh, because my shields are down, this disruptors are going in and hitting this guy. They're also damaging my reactor. Now, if my reactor blows, bad things happen. Very bad things. Uh, which means hopefully we've broken from combat. We have. Uh, there's whoop, more resources. Whoop, more resources. I want that. Cool. Uh, all right. Have we broken from combat? Thank you. Repair all. Okay. I really need to look at trying to get some armor in here in between, well, the reactor and the blasters, uh, which would be ideal. But for the moment, we'll have to wait because, well, more unknown contacts. And uh, like I said, I want to get that second ship up and running. Ooh. Okay, you the same type again? You are. Okay. Well, look, we're going to try this. We'll try and hit the side and we will try the super close approach. Might be a little bit too close, but we will see. Everything went flying straight past the side. Okay, we are super close. Uh, that's the thruster gone. That's the structure. I'm pretty sure the disruptor just got blown up. All right, we'll aim for the other disruptor. The problem is the cannons are doing massive damage. Also, as we can see, they're lighting fires. We do have a fire extinguisher on this side. Next one's over here. Yeah, I think I think the cannons need to go. Uh, they're far too risky when compared to the disruptor. Oh, we do have friends helping. Oh, hi, toothpick. It's another toothpick. Uh... Okay, and then that one. And then straight for that. Okay. And come on. And we're good to go. Alright. Yeah, a little bit dangerous. A little bit dangerous. Do fully a bit a little bit dangerous. The fires, yeah, we're, we're, we're not many hit points left. Okay. It's okay. In fact, it's not okay. We can't repair. Uh okay. What can I repair? Uh, can I repair everything except the reactor? Okay, we are going to do this, uh, disable all, I just want hypercoils. Alright, uh, any hypercoils? Yep, there's a couple. And how many do we need? We need 25, and how many do I have? 18, so I need another 7. Uh, we're going to mark that. Uh, my next marker, well, there's one right here. And we'll press the G button to do the mining. Uh, like that. What is that? Why oh, is a dead bouncer? That's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, that. And no, there's none over there. And 25, which is exactly what I needed to repair. Okay. With that repair done, uh, we will enable all. I'll just grab whatever we can shove in the hole. And we're going to go about getting our second ship. I... Fine. Fine. Oh, you're different. Oh, you're very different. You're a thrasher. Okay. So Mr. Thrasher has a couple of laser blasters. Uh, crew bunk, crew bunk. Uh, thruster, thruster, thruster. So just one big cannon up front. Now, he's obviously can't shoot this way. So what I really would like to do is I'd like to stay on that side of him. I'd love to. Uh, and that's going to be our plan now, hope. But I have a feeling he's going to spin faster than I can get the hell out of the way. Uh, I maybe push that too far. Maybe we should have gone hard to the side. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to spin far too fast. 
All right, so we are going to target the weapons uh, intentionally for this tile, hoping that the spin means that we'll hit into the cannon. I'm just going to lead the shots a little bit. Mm, okay, we're now leading them too much. Oh, that did the trick. Uh, can I shoot that one? I probably should go for the blasters, but uh, our shield should hold the blaster fire and... We are done. Okay, uh, yet another marker right here beside the last uh, the last remnants of the previous ship. Uh, can I harvest any of that? Doing that I can. So we will break up what we can, take it back home, and we're going to finally, finally, finally grab that second ship. Yeah, we should definitely have the crew to support it now. Uh, we've done a, a tiny bit of um, demolition. What's left of the Thrasher. Okay. All right. With that done, uh, let's go to this station and sell everything and hopefully not find any more friends along the way. Question marks, I don't mind. Uh, resource uh, asteroids, I don't mind, but um, preferably no more friends. I'm just trying to buy another ship. Uh, that's already been marked. Uh, nothing there. And, um, okay, great. All right, first off, let's hail them. I would very much like, uh, well, that didn't give me any fame, nor did that. Uh, you want iron delivery. You want 25 iron. We happen to have 25 iron on me. I do not. And you want Hyperium. Do I have Hyperium? I do. Uh, okay, we will accept that contract. And how much was it? 40. Well, I've only got 20. Well, that didn't happen, uh, but I will sell the ammo because I have no need for it. And that's all I'm going to sell for right now. Yes. Okay. Uh, so with that stuff cleared out of our inventory, actually, can I do uh, the upgrade I wanted? The upgrade I wanted was a super thruster right there. Okay. okay. Uh, I don't need that door. All right, uh, so that's the ship upgraded. I'm happy with the ship. Well, mostly happy with the ship. There's definitely some improvements we could make. Don't get me wrong. Mainly some armor in here to hopefully stop fires. Uh, maybe another fire extinguisher or five. Uh, but that's a start. All right, what I want to actually do, the first thing I want to do, well, the, the next thing I want to do for this episode is, uh, well, an important thing, I need to name a crew member. Uh, we're going to pick, uh, let's go with another operator. Uh, can I, no. Oh. There's no way just to select a crew member and then just name them right from there. Roster, uh, sure, you'll do. You were the exact person I wanted anyway. Uh, I'm going to name them after a wonderful YouTube member, a wonderful YouTube member that's keeping the channel ad-free because nobody enjoys mid-roll ads. Uh, so we're going to favorite this one. We're going to customize them and we're going to name them after, as I said, a wonderful YouTube member, which because they've clicked the like button, click the subscribe button, also click the join button means I don't run any mid-rolls. So thank you all day, Hyper Dude, for being a wonderful YouTube member. Uh, hopefully you survive. Yes, hopefully. All right, uh, at least you're not being put onto the brand new ship. Brand new ship, which we're gonna be building right about here. All right, I'm gonna pause the game. I'm gonna straighten the planning mode and we need to get this up and running. So I need Command points. That's going to be the very first thing, uh, which needs hypercores, which I don't have enough of. So we're going to be buying some hypercores from the station. Next up, I need a reactor. We're going to go for a medium. It's probably going to be a little bit of overkill, but as far as I know, I have, I more than have the uranium, so it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. Uh, sure. Okay. We need to go to you. And go to you and then buy some blueprints. Uh, blueprints. I would like to buy the ability to make steel, plus the ability to make coils, plus uh, the ability to have a mining laser. They're going to be the three upgrades I need. Okay. Uh, can I select the other ship? Probably not. I don't think it actually exists. All right. Build a new ship. Let's try this again. First off, we need uh, a mini reactor. Sure. We need a cockpit. Uh, we need power, uh, well, well, factories. Uh, we're gonna be putting a steel factory here with a coil factory beside it. Okay, straight away, they're gonna get a 25% bonus, uh, each of them, because they're connected to another factory item. Uh, can I 
Speak to that up. And we're going to move that up a top. All right, we're going to connect all of that together with a corridor. And corridor out to here, corridor down to here, corridor out to here, corridor out to here. Okay, it's going to be a horrible ship, very horrible ship to get us started. But I just need something to get us started. I just need something that we can have a second ship that can start doing things. Uh, actually, we're going to move you to here. I'm going to put in our mining laser. And I'm going to put it hard up against the reactor because it tends to use a lot of power. Uh, we're going to also fill in that area and that area. And you're full wide, you're full wide. Okay, uh, I need to put in crew quarters still. Uh, do we widen that out, Motel? Yeah, let's widen that whole center section out by a tile, I think. Yep. And we'll put you there. Crew quarters. We'll put a set of quarters here. Uh, also along this side crew, we're going to have an airlock hatch. Um, fire extinguisher is such an overrated item. We're not going to be bothering. Uh, crew quarter, crew quarter. Sure. Uh, thrusters, because this will need to move. Uh, we're going to put in three-way small thrusters. Yep, highest technology things we can afford, uh, and they are going to be horrible. But it's going to give us a lot of maneuverability, and that's really what I'm going for. Really, really high maneuverability ship. I want to be able to strafe sideways without a problem, and it just works. Okay. Is there anything I want to change? Like armor would be great, but um, that costs steel, and already I am buying 700 bits of steel. Uh, can I not have that? Okay, that helped a little bit. Uh, storage, 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 storage. Let's go with tiny itty bitty storage. Actually, let's go with the storage right here. Yep, and we'll remove that as well. All right, uh, that's slightly more reasonable. Uh, this is using, well, a lot of the resources we have on the other ship, but um, I just don't have that much storage to carry around stuff. Uh, actually, we might even remove that. Yeah, because I don't think I can carry this much crew to start with. All right. Uh, and actually, we can go one better and we'll remove that. Sure. Uh, a very, very, very lightweight ship. Extremely lightweight ship. Uh, actually, let's remove that and let's remove that. We, we do have mirror mode on, don't we? Yeah, let's turn that off for just a minute. Uh, no, we don't have mirror mode on. <sighs> I didn't want that. I want that. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're going to turn mirror mode off. And I'm going to move you in. And I'm going to move you in. And we're going to remove that and that. Super cheap. Super cheap. Super crap ship. Uh, but that is technically a ship. Okay. Uh, we are going to go to Zap Zap. I want to transfer across crew. I have 39 currently. So 39 is enough to maneuver our current ship. We're going to transfer across 10. And then I'm going to go straight to the station. And how many can I buy? 15. I'm going to buy back 10. Let's go up to 40. Yeah. Okay. And unnamed ship, which shall be... Edit now, ship name. Uh, the Bucket. Okay. Uh, the Bucket shall also... Oh needs to have uh, command points. It needs the crew to actually get on board. Uh, yep. And we're I'm going to uh, talk to them. And crew-wise, I can hire two. And that is the start of our ship. Okay. Uh, next thing I need to do is I need to set up some bare basics. So if we find iron, it's going to come to here. If I find coils, it's going to come to here. Uh, I want to move my iron into there. And I want to move my coils into there. That's it. That's the only operations we're doing for right now. Very, very, very bare basics. All right. We're going to take both ships and we're going to go, well, we know there's a graveyard up here, which I really want to get to. And we'll get there eventually, but we're going to start with this asteroid field. Because I have two crew. One is quite capable at, well, doing things. And the other one is quite capable at mining. And unfortunately, they both don't exist at the same time. So we're going to come over to here and I'm going to have both crew mine this. Now, because you have a laser, uh, I didn't set you up. Okay. Control 2F2 
for that ship. And whoop, that means if I press F1, I get zap zap. If I press 2, I get the bucket. All right. Zap zap. Zap zap has crew. They can very, very, very well... Um, yeah, we failed the mission. Yep. Uh, very, very well... Well, bring resources on board. You have a mining laser, so you can very well mine things. That's about all you can do very well. The only thing I do need to do is, and it's these red shirts, to jump priorities. I want the mining laser operate number 10 and supply battery number 10. Way more important than anything else you guys are thinking about doing. I need you to make sure that the mining laser never goes down. So I need somebody constantly in here doing exactly that. All right. Uh, you, on the other hand, can go pick up... Oh, hang on. Uh, number two. Cancel all. Number one. Uh, has no room in their stores. Transfer resources. Uh, across to the bucket. Everything. All right. Fuck it. Straight in here. Uh, storage. Uh, we have on board 80, 80, 80 steel plus. Okay. Uh, which means I want to put in, uh, I guess we're going to go down first. I don't have any coils. Okay. Crap. Uh, we might have overlooked the fact that I need copper. Okay. Let's go find some copper. That's iron. Sulfur, tri steel. There we go. Copper. Alright, it should be enough that. Don't move away. It should be enough that we have a couple of coils. We do. Uh, and that is for the doors, which means I should be able to put a storage in there. That's step number one. And back in here, we want to make sure that any steel we make gets shipped out of that room. Alright, so we now have a little bit of copper with a little bit of steel. And we're going to grab all... Well, actually, no, I want you guys to come home. I want you to come over here. I want you to transfer resources uh, across all of that and all of that. And then you can go and grab resources with the other crew and refill your stores. And again, and transfer resources, uh, zap zap, you can transfer across another 30, and then grab that. I just need to see all the copper gone. Okay, uh, both ships back to wherever the iron was here, I think. Yeah, that's the, what's left of the iron. Cool. All right, so uh, let's have you... You are not processing anything because you haven't been told where to put the copper coils. All right. So we need to come into storage and I need to say, hey, when this factory is done, we do this with this uh, this button. I need you to export those to somewhere. So right there will do fine for right now. So it's going to move all the coils out of there, which will then let this copper go, well, potentially back into here. Uh, we also need to make sure that there's always copper in one of these tiles to get moved back into there. So we have a reserve tile for copper, uh, a reserve tile for steel, uh, iron, iron to go into the steel factory, copper to go in the copper factory, and both of those two factories will export to, well, all our storages currently. But we're going to upgrade our storages. Uh, ideally, I have more steel by now, but... Yes. Where have I? That's why. One there. Okay. Uh, which means uh, transfer resources. I want to have all of Zap Zap's, uh, all of the bucket's materials, and bucket uh, Zap Zap rather will just harvest what they can to refill all their stores. Yep. And you guys need to convert all that into steel once again. Yep. And transfer resources. Uh, 50 again. Now grab another 50. We just need to do this a few times. I just need enough storage that we can actually start, you know, mass moving stuff across. Transfer resources have another 50. And more. And more. It's pretty much a constant trade. I can constantly keep bringing materials across because, as fast as, you know, as 
fast they can they are processing it until they run out of space all right once they run out of space we're going to come back in here we're going to put in a bigger storage box let's put one at the front sure all right and once again we're going to go from there i want you to exit to there as well uh which means they're going to convert whatever iron they have again into steel and i want you to no nope, cancel uh transfer resources move across whatever we've got there and whatever we've got there and then at the same time you guys can gather more iron so we repeat the process we're just going to do this for a little while so i'm going to jump forward in time because you guys don't need to see this and i'll see you a little bit later in the episode when well we've made enough steel to actually make a ship yeah, actually make a shift. With a little bit of mining, uh, our friend, uh, well, Zap Zap now has a new friend, um, the bucket. The bucket which um, grew some teeth. And the reason it grew teeth was, well, although it has no thrust and although it is incredibly slow, it has grown. It has grown significantly and it grew for free. And that's the other thing I really like about this ship. Um, it, it's, it's been free to upgrade so far. Uh, but also it means that we can just target moving through an asteroid. And, um, well, we'll just push the asteroid out of the way uh, whilst we find it. And all the resources, yep, uh, hopefully end up right about where the ship is. So the crew can go out and grab it real easy and bring it all inside. And unfortunately, well, it hasn't taken long, but um, the stores are full. The stores are absolutely full. You know, it, some of it comes down to bad storage. Really, really bad storage. Uh, I didn't say they were the smartest crew, but it's it's full. Um, we have a thousand iron when we process the steel, which means upgrading the ship further is not going to be an issue. It's just a matter of processing it, and that's going to take a bit of time, which is fine. Uh, so we're going to park them at the station where they're perfectly safe. Meanwhile,st uh, Zap Zap needs to definitely go over and well, actually, we should probably get this signal done. Um, yeah. I, I, I'd want to finish up this sector. But I also potentially can make a lot of money with our brand new mining ship. Also, I did say I wanted cannons, and uh, cannons require us to have a mining ship that we can upgrade, which I'm pretty sure we have now. Uh, so, first off, let's uh, have a chat to these guys, which are going to give us a payment. Uh, also, should give us a couple of bounties uh, to destroy pirate bases. Ooh, okay. Uh, that didn't help us with crew. That didn't help us with crew. That didn't help us with crew. Okay. Uh, we can get seven crew. I have shipped, uh, all the crew into the other bucket ship, just so we had maximum, uh, maximum ability over there. Um, so are we going to leave those for the moment? Yes. I'm not going to require, uh, more, um, I'm, I'm not going to deal with the pirate bases just yet, but we are going to unlock that. At the same time, with $110,000... Uh, oh, cannon. So I need to unlock a standard cannon so we can make a cannon ammo factory. Uh, and then... Hypercoil factory as well, I wouldn't mind. Yes. Okay, so with that done, uh, let's go back to this ship. Uh, we're going to come in here and we're going to do a couple of quick modifications. So, uh, I want to go into planning mode. We would really like a hypercoil factory uh, with mirror mode off. Can I afford to build that? No, I need processes. Okay, so processes I don't have yet. And ammo, I should be able to build this. And we're going to whack this, I don't know. Sure, sure. Uh, okay, ammo factory is going to require sulfur to be brought in, so we're going to go into here. We're going to make sure we always have sulfur in this slot, uh, which we're then going to ship into the ammo factory. The ammo factory is very dangerous. Um, you can convert a not much sul sulfur into many, many rounds very, very quickly. So we're going to get that running. Uh, we're going to have to wait for the piper coils, I think. Uh, we can... Hang on, what do we need to build that? We needed 12 processes, and I have three. I could buy them, or I could wait for Zap Zap to find them. Um, I think we're just going to wait for Zap Zap to find them, because I'm pretty sure Zap Zap's going to find them fairly quickly. Uh, so we have Fugitive Bounty, 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 bah, Renegade Pack, Renegade Pack, uh, Clear Asteroid Field, Renegade Pack. So we've got a couple of quests we can go and see to fairly quickly, so... I'll see you when some of the combat's interesting, because, um, yeah, we're OP, so 
I'm expecting all these will be fairly much um, come in, find the target. Uh, oh, that's different. So you're a level three. Okay. Uh, well, we, we're just going to shoot out the large cannon right in the middle. Um, we've 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 run up against ships similar to this in the past. Uh, we also have a lot more speed than we had previously. So with that done, um, I have no idea. We're just going to blow right through the middle, I think. Yeah, just shoot that. Yep, the ship's now in two separate halves. Cool. And we're just going to leave some markers. I will harvest everything just so we have some materials for repairs. And we'll move on to the next target of many. Well, we found a new ship type. Um, This is a, an angled ship, a triangle ship, a, a, a um, dead ship. Dead ship. Uh, it does have a lot of peeled uh, point defense, which it is using to pump the crap out of my poor shields. Um, but uh, it it also went the way of the dodo. Uh, okay, so that fixes that problem. Uh, I am trying to salvage resources. Uh, is that enough? Three processes. I think I need four. Yes, I need four processes plus more hypercoils. I'm, I'm trying to build a sensor array. Uh, I'd like to get a sensor array in the ship. It just helps with exploring and, well, seeing what trouble you're going to head into before you actually get there. This one, I, I already know that unknown signal is a pirate base. There were many, far, 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 far too many red dots up there for it to be not a pirate base. Uh, but hopefully, uh, that's carbon. Yep, we'll grab a carbon and hopefully between this one and this one maybe uh oh it's another one of these uh you spin i can't remember which way you spin towards me right yes okay so you're gonna be dead from outside range uh oops well sorry about that uh do you have any microchips and hypercoils a um, couple of hypercoils, great. Uh, microchips was my other request. Uh, that's uranium. Mark that, great. Uh, we're going to... Oh, uh, you, same story. Cool. And we'll just pop over here and pick up whatever it is. And that might be all the requirements I need. Uh, okay, so let's go. Oh, did I leave crew? Crap. No, they're on board. Okay. Uh, we want to do this. So I'm going to put in a sensor ray right here, which... Where are my operators? Uh, okay, so I want to go crew. I want to go operators. I want to go edit role. Uh, job priorities. This should be already a nine. Uh, the only reason things are a nine is gather resource to ten, i.e. if I've said to go mine something, I really want you guys to go out and do it. And... Really, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. Okay, uh, sensor ray means I can see much, much further, which was the real goal. Uh, it looks like I'm two operators short. So we're gonna go into crew assignments. I'm gonna assign you to... Uh, roster. Uh, can I go filters ops uh 17 matching crew okay and each room f sleeps how many uh six i have 17. okay so one room is obviously short all right so in a crew uh that room that room and give me you and that room okay so in theory, now I have 18 crew. Yeah, because I'm just going to end up adding one in, kicking one out. All right. Uh, we're going to go over and we're going to say hi to this. Because, uh, well, this area... Oh, no, no, no. This is the last one for this area. Yes. And it means I have a much larger range to look at different asteroids. You're a cannon platform, which we've dealt before, I think. I think I just target you and you, and we're done. Nope. It's the other side. Oh, well, well, my apologies. It's it's gone anyway. Uh, so that doesn't have a, a, a star on it anymore, so it's done. We do have a tritanium right there, and you're down because you don't have power. True. Okay, so let's move. 
Let's put a door in there. That seems logical. Uh, also, we should have a door in there already, and we don't. Uh, so that's going into there. You shouldn't have a door. Correct. And that hopefully keeps this powered. Uh, I can't... Can I, can I slide... Actually, I can slide that down a tile. Yes. Sure. Everybody's back inside. Cool. All right. Uh, uh, but yes, uh, we're, we're still very much unbeatable. Plus now we have a sensor ray. So hopefully, and this is the big one, if if it remains powered, uh, we can see targets from very far away. So I can, you know, say, okay, it's one of those. We're going to intentionally attack that. Uh, and then oh, that plus that plus that plus that. And in theory, I should have plenty of power. Oh, I might know what the problem is. Uh, why is that reset? Okay. Uh, plus I want you to power that and that. That should fix the problem. And you're set to power, not those. There we go. We found some mistakes. Uh, yeah, this is what happens when we're constantly modifying the ship. Uh, but that should be you good to go. Turns out we're in combat. I'm not paying any attention. Uh, that was a clear miss. Guys, you suck. Yep, gun. Well, that one. Don't hide behind an asteroid. That's rude. Well, as we can see, that they can't target crap. Uh, we're going to mark that there. We're going to mark that there. All right. Uh, so, our ship is unbeatable. I think I'm just going to clear off whatever's left and... Well, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Maybe we'll we will also clean up the graveyard. Um, with our new mining ship, we should be able to clear off a lot of other items. And where are we? Uh, we have twelve hundred steel. Uh, we have a lot of steel. Obviously, there are many improvements I could make in this uh, ship, and we're going to be making some of those improvements. We also now have ammo being produced, so I also need to come back to this ship and do something about that. But I am definitely going to leave this episode here. It's been a little bit of a long one, but um. We have a very, very powerful Zap Zap ship, which keeps running around and basically not taking any damage. Um, also could loot up whatever we feel like. And we also have our brand new, well, it looks like more, a bit like a bug or something, but the bucket, the bucket, uh, which is just a giant storage container for the moment. It has the ability to make a lot of steel. Uh, a lot of steel, also some coils, and in theory... Uh factory um in theory hopefully hypercoils insufficient resources um, helps if i did it in that mode uh microchips 12 off and zap zap is set to harvest uh well all the really expensive stuff so maybe maybe i can find another 12 microchips and bring them back uh but yeah i will see you guys in the next episode as always thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed both blueprints for both ships will be available on Twitter. As always, it is in the first link post below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the very next episode.